All right, guys, good morning. You might see me wearing the same clothes from the last video because literally, literally just started this video seconds after I ended the last one. But I'm going to tell you all the project I have going on. This is, you know, we, you know, everybody knows we live in an RV. And we're going to build a tiny house. But with that, uh, we have water lines just like a regular house. I have two water lines here. This green one is a flush line to flush the septic. And this white one is our drinking water, shower water etc so that being said last winter even though i had all my even though i had all my lines covered they froze and they froze bad um this is my water filtration system it's a whole house water filter you can get at walmart home depot or lowe's and that goes in to our house's filtered water and it works very very good i have a charcoal filter on it this line is the main line coming in i have a tap here before the filter for my flush line and if i want to do any grass watering or anything like that i don't have to go through the water water filter same way with this one here this is the line we use for the the garden you can see the garden hose i have hooked to it for water in the garden so literally the only thing we get through the filter is the the white hose there that goes in for our drinking showering cooking and stuff like that last year in southeast texas i think we got down to nine degrees or was it six degrees and uh everything froze everything froze <clears throat> i left the water running in the house and the trickle and I was sitting in there doing something, cooking something, and I noticed the trickle got slower and slower and slower and stopped. The water lines froze. So, that being said, I came out here with a blow dryer, a hair blow dryer, and some blankets and heating blankets and everything I could to get it to thaw out. And it took a while to thaw out. I got it going again. 30 minutes later, it froze again. So, the main problem we were having last year with the water was we live on a community well so we have well water but it's for this section of our neighborhood so they got a gigantic tank over there that the water goes to <clears throat> and what was happening is other people's lines were breaking therefore making the water pressure uh less and less cause making it easier for uh, the lines to freeze up so I didn't have any busted lines, uh, although I did not have any water. And when they would get the lines fixed and get them on, because we had a, that freeze lasted for about four, I think we were without water four or five days, <clears throat> because a lot of people left and went out of town because they knew this freeze was coming. <clears throat> so a lot of lines were busted and they would get one line fixed and then the community wheel would come back on because it was throwing the breaker because it was constantly running i guess that's how they were explaining it to us and uh, so it took a while for everything to get back to normal uh but uh this year um although i had that chair the metal chair sitting right here i had a tarp over this system and I had a heat lamp like you would use for baby chicks focused right here on this filtration system. And uh, really, there should have been no reason for my lines to freeze. Um, I had the styrofoam um, line wraps around all my hoses. So uh, really shouldn't have been any reason for them to freeze, but they did anyway. This year, I'm gonna do something a little different. I found this box in the trash and it is a cabinet and unfortunately it doesn't have the doors to it but it had all the shelves in it and the shelves fit perfectly from here to here so I'm gonna lay them down flat and screw them in place and I'm gonna cut a hole or, or cut a cut this section out of the bottom here so that it will slide right over this now 
this is facing north so the north wind is coming this way hitting all our lines um and there's really nothing blocking it there's a house right there but there's a big opening here and a big opening over here so the wind would come around our, that house and hit our house uh on the north side so that is north this behind me is south that way is east towards kelly and reagan's house so i could just go straight that way and hit uh, southern boy pepper's house and this way or kind of at an angle this way is south i mean sorry uh west i don't know what i'm thinking west west south is that way so what i want to ask y'all is if i put this box cut the cut the bottom out slide because i've already checked the, the measurements this box will slide easily over this water line and cover it and i put the lids bolt them to this side and put a uh some insulation in there and the heat lamp uh i might cut a hole in the top up here just big enough to set that heat lamp on top of it so that the heat will be radiating down through the box <clears throat> y'all think that that would work i might buy some of that styrofoam insulation from lowe's you know it comes in four four by eight foot sheets and i think it's like a half inch thick because there's grooves in these walls that i can put them i can cut it out and put one here 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 same way with the bottom <clears throat> but my dad lives in indiana and he said i should get some electric pipe i guess it's a pipe wrap that they put around y'all's the pipes up north that you plug in to keep things thought out they don't sell that here i've been trying all the hardware stores and the big box stores and they don't sell that here they sell it online but it's fairly expensive and you have to get the right amount so i wouldn't even know where to start on how much to get to wrap these pipes but i want to try this this box was in the trash somebody threw it away so I'm going to try it out and see. I'm still going to wrap the pipes with this um, this foam insulation that you get at the hardware store. You could buy them really cheap and um, still wrap them up and try to do the best I can. I thought about going making the rubber hoses PVC and put a rubber grommet in the middle of them where I can adjust it back and forth to to uh, connect. I might still consider doing doing that, but not only. Do I have that project to do today? Which should not take me very long if I have all the stuff together. Um, we have two stray cats that live here. They only You only see them in the morning time when we feed them and the evening time when you feed them. After that, they disappear. We think they're living under my shed. But they've been here for a while. They were here last winter through the freeze and survived without any shelter other than living under that shed but teresa has been watching some diy deals on how to make a, a little cat house so i have this big tote that i use for the baby chicks and i have this old litter box it already has a hole in it although i'm gonna have to cut another hole down here putting this in here like this surround it with hay put hay inside of there hay down here put this lid on top of here cut a hole here and maybe the two kitties will um make the this their home i don't know it's something we're gonna have to try before we get that freezing weather they're saying we're gonna get this year I don't know about that either anyway i would like your opinions and ideas on that as well anyway guys we get this stuff done get it knocked out and i'll see what else i can do i think i might come back and show y'all my 
finished product project after I get this box cut out and fitted over the lines just to show y'all what I'm talking about all right we'll be back so to kind of give you an idea that's what I'm talking about I cut the, the bottom out of the box and I put the box over all the water lines now this will dramatically block the north winds but I was hoping that the box was deep enough that I would be able to enclose with everything inside of it and it is not even if I took the water hose reel off the spigot is already touching right about there but I've blocked off the north wind and I can at least put some blankets in there uh, wrap this outside with a tarp and some gorilla tape or duct tape and put my heat lamp uh, up there at the top facing down so it should heat up in there nicely so all I've got to do is worry about the lines coming here and there's three lines but I only have to worry about two the green one actually I don't even have to worry about the green one the white one is the only one the only one I need to worry about the green one is just a flush so there's never no water running to it unless I turn it on but the white one is completely charged all the time so that's really all I have to worry about <clears throat> is that right there so what do y'all think is it a stupid idea I don't think it'll be that bad and it, it kind of doesn't look too bad walking up to it it looks kind of like a little cabinet sitting here hiding all the water hoses and stuff <clears throat> anyway so y'all tell me what y'all think about that and uh we'll go from there now i gotta go start on that cat box get that done all right guys we'll talk to y'all later have a good one tell you love ones you love them because you never know what tomorrow brings and enjoy this beautiful weather while we can i'm enjoying it because it's not 100 degrees out here right now so i'm really enjoying it uh it'll make work a lot more pleasant uh upcoming upcoming weeks and months um you can always put on enough clothes to stay warm you can't never take off enough clothes to stay cool without getting in trouble <laughs> god bless y'all see y'all later